Hi and welcome, I'm Dr Phil Parker and today's video is all about some recent research published into the lightning process. Studies been done comparing CBT and other approaches included within specialist medical care for children with CFS and the lightning process. And the reason the research has been undertaken is specialist medical care, which is a range of approaches for children with chronic fatigue, has some good outcomes. But for about a third of children, they have suboptimal outcomes, so not great outcomes, so not much improvement by six months. On the other hand, research has shown that the lightning process can improve outcomes in this client group. But although there's a growing body of evidence about the lightning process and how it works, it's not that widely known or understood. So this project set out to address those issues. The study was led by researchers at the University of Bristol and they set out to identify what is similar about the lightning process and CBT and specialist medical care and what is different, what's specific to the lightning process. Once these distinct elements could be drawn out, then it would be easier to inform clinicians about how the process worked and who it might be good for. The results were interesting. Identified some overlaps between CBT approaches and the lightning process, but also some very distinct elements. It identified the lightning process had a different focus on language and the specific use of language. It noted that while CBT focused on physical and behavioural issues, so physical issues such as improving sleep and exercise, behavioural issues such as improving routines around sleep and exercise and pacing, it also looked at things like over-focusing on symptoms. However, the lightning process had a different perspective. It maintained a consistent neurophysiological rationale for making change to the illness. This point is particularly interesting. The lightning process looks at the mind-body connection, how using your mind to affect your brain to affect your body can make changes in your physiology. And for many people, as soon as they hear the word mind, they think the lightning process is suggesting the illness is caused by things in the mind. But this is a misunderstanding, which is clarified in this paper. The lightning process looks at changing physiology but achieves that result by helping people to learn how to use their brains to retrain their neurology to change their physiology. And this is really highlighted in this paper. It also noted the lightning process had some very specific techniques for changing effective state and physiological change. Additionally, the mode of delivery was different. While CBT was often delivered once a week, the lightning process seminar is delivered over three consecutive days. It also noted that kinetic elements were part of the lightning process, that is, the use of movement, postures and gestures to assist the brain training process. So this is a really interesting research project that identifies the distinct elements of the lightning process. Lightning process is clearly not just another form of CBT. There are different elements. It suggests that this might be very interesting material for the design of future interventions and research to improve clinical outcomes for children with CFS and ME. And it's really valuable for helping clinicians to be more informed about treatment options available for families. If you want to know more about how the lightning process works, all the research that's building as the evidence base, then please do get in touch with us. Just send an email to info at philparker.org.